Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do something new and I'm going to try this out to see if you guys like it. It's just a voice override on my video. Let me know if you guys like it in the comment below. So today we are going to make meatloaf dinner. So the ingredients that you guys will need is ground beef, green onion, onion, eggs, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, apricot jelly, black pepper, salt, garlic, and onion powder, ketchup, milk, and Ritz cracker. So what we have here is three pounds of ground beef. We have half of a yellow onion, and we just chopped it. We have cilantro, we have a whole bunch, and then we have a bunch of green onion top. And you want to mix it into the pan that you are going to put in the oven. So the first thing you, what you want to do is give it some salt, give it a generous amount of salt. And then the second thing what you want to do is you want to put in the black pepper. And we are going with old school style so we are actually crushing the black pepper by hand and my husband is so strong to do it for us. Then the next thing we are going to do is put in the garlic powder. Give it a good amount. Then we are going to put in the onion powder and also give it a good amount. Then the next thing we are going to put in is one and a half cup of ketchup if my husband will not be so eager to take it and put it into our meatloaf. Then the next thing we are going to put in is one quarter cup of brown sugar. And this time he learned not to take it out of my hand so fast because I still have to show you guys. And you want to sprinkle it all over the pan. Then the next thing is one tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce. And then you want to add in one cup of milk. Then you want to add in one quarter cup of apricot jelly. I mean apricot spread as my husband pointed it out to me. Thank you honey, I love you too. Then we are going to put the whole package of Ritz cracker. And what you want to do is you want to crush it and then you want to put it into the meatloaf before we start stirring it. And then my husband is taking his time putting it in because it's hard to crush it. I try to do it. I couldn't even do it. Thank you, the love of my life. Then you want to add three large eggs. Yes, and everything looks so yummy together. Then the next thing is you want to mix it. You want to make sure that everything is mixed together. You want to make sure that the meat has chunks inside of them. Just like how my husband is showing you guys. And he is taking his time. Yes, honey, work it, work it, work it. And then when you are done mixing it, you just want to put saran wrap over it. And then you want to 
throw it into the refrigerator for 24 hours. Okay, it's the next day. Took out the meatloaf, set it in there for about 24 hours. Preheated the oven to 375 degrees. We're gonna put it in. We're gonna check in about 20, 25 minutes and we'll see how it looks by that time. So while you are cooking the meatloaf, what we are going to do is we are going to make the bread. What you would need is white sugar, water, milk, a package of active dry yeast, a stick of butter, one large egg, all-purpose flour, and some salt. So you want to measure four cups of all-purpose flour, add in one packet of the dry yeast, one teaspoon of the garlic powder. Just sprinkle some salt. Half cup of sugar. And that is all for your dry ingredients. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to mix it into the bowl, all the dry ingredients, so that we make sure that everything is mixed it well together. So now into the wet ingredients, we are going to put one cup of milk and then one quarter cup of water we are also going to put one large egg and then the last thing we put in there is the stick of butter then you just want to mix it mix it mix it really really well at first i used a tool but it didn't work as good as i thought it was going to be so instead of using the tool I just use my hand and you just want to press it together just like you're making bread but don't worry I will show you guys in a little bit here how it looks like and then when you are done you are going just to put saran wrap over it and then put it in the refrigerator while we make our potato okay so we filled up our pot with water Set it on the stove, get it boiling. We're gonna add some salt. That'll heat up the water faster with the salt. Okay, first thing you want to do is peel the potatoes. Next, you want to cut the potatoes and do about a little over maybe half, half an inch. Then you want to take the potatoes and put them into hot water. Then for the ingredients, what you're gonna need is salt, butter onion powder, garlic powder. Next what you want to do is add the full stick of butter to the potatoes. Preferably you want to add them right when you're taking them right off the boiling water so that way it melts and do it as you're mixing it. Then what you want to do is add the onion powder and garlic powder to your liking. Then after that then mix up the potatoes to your preference of thickness. So after making the potato, what we want to do is go back to the bread. So we want to use Pam on our baking sheet. Just spray a even coat on it. Then you want to take the dough out of the refrigerator. You want to uncover it. And this is how it's supposed to look like. Next, you want to take out the dough from the mixing bowl and set it on to tin foil with flour on it. Then what you want to do is sprinkle some flour over the dough so it doesn't stick to your hands when you're flattening it out. Cut the dough into fours. Next what you want to do is lay it out with an even amount of room on the cooking pan. Put it in the oven at the same temperature as a meal for 30 to 75 degrees. And we had them in there for about 12 minutes. 